So, who am I? Well, my name is Oliver Page. I'm a cryptocurrency trader and I'm currently using the AAX platform. I've been asked by AAX to share some of my trading strategies for the AAX Academy. Who is Fibonacci? Fibonacci was an Italian mathematician who popularized the Arabic numeral system in the Western world. From his work, he then devised the Fibonacci sequence. He is considered to be one of the world's most talented mathematicians to ever live. A bit about the work of Fibonacci. Fibonacci is prominently known for his Fibonacci sequence. The Fibonacci sequence is when each number is the sum of the previous two numbers. Through Fibonacci's sequence, he then devised the golden ratio, otherwise known as the divine proportion. Why do traders use Fibonacci? Well, the Fibonacci ratio is seen all around the world. An example of this is Leonardo da Vinci's Vitruvian Man or the Nautilus Shell. Due to the exponential occurrence of the divine proportion in the natural world, traders believe that the Fibonacci ratio is also applicable to trading. Using the Fibonacci, there are different types of Fibonacci tools. The two which I use are the Fib Retracement and the Trend Based Fib Extension. They can be found on the side here on the AX Future Exchange. Simply, if I go back to the charts, we click on the edge of this pitchfork here third one down you'll find the fib retracement and the trend based fib extension there are also other fibonacci tools although today we're just going to be concentrating on these two how to draw a fibonacci retracement when drawing a fibonacci retracement the first thing you want to do is you want to use the trend line this is in order to identify the trend which we will be drawing the Fibonacci retracement along. So in this example, I'm going to be using the upwards trend from December 2019 all the way up to February 2020, as shown with my green trend line. When drawing the Fibonacci retracement, to find the Fibonacci retracement tool, we need to go to the third down on the left-hand column Click the right hand arrow and underneath the GAN fan, we'll find the Fibonacci retracement tool. When drawing the Fib retracements, we want to draw from the lowest wick, which is 6,430 here, all the way up to the highest wick of around 10,500. So on the click, I'm going to drag it up. And there we have it. We can see that this is correct because of the dashed gray line showing us the trend. We then want to shift this across as such. So why are certain numbers used in the Fibonacci levels? So the Fibonacci levels found in these tools are found by dividing numbers in the Fibonacci sequence in a certain manner. So for example, let's use this 0.618 level. This is found by dividing one number in the series by the number that follows it. Although it must be noted that not all of these numbers are found that way. For example, 0.5 isn't actually found in the Fibonacci sequence, although as traders, we like to use it because we find that it does provide accurate resistance levels. As I've shown here, 0.5 resistance level provided adequate resistance at this area of price action. Now that we've created our Fibonacci retracement, what do the lines actually mean? Well, they represent support and resistance levels. I've indicated these with arrows. The pink arrows are where the Fibonacci retracement has acted as adequate support. For example, 
when Bitcoin was making its move from 10,500 to 9,500, the 0.236 level acted as support until a significant break below this level occurred. As for the resistance, if we take this blue arrow as an example, these two blue arrows, we can see that the 0.786 level acted as resistance multiple times. Here and here. Although once the price broke above the 0.786 resistance level, the price then continued up to the 0.618. So how do we draw trend fib extensions? The first thing you want to do is you want to identify the trend. So I'm going to select my trend line. Now I can see there's a clear trend here. There is then a clear trending move down all the way to 3,800. And then there is clearly a move from 3,800 to 10,000 US dollars. For this example, I'm going to be using the first and the second trends, just so I can identify and show you how it works rather than making future price movement predictions. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of the first and the second trend line now that we have identified them. I'm then going to select my trend-based FIB tool, the one below the Fibonacci retracement. To draw this, I'm going to draw from the lowest wick of the first trend movement to the highest wick of the first trend movement, all the way down to the lowest wick of the next trend movement. I'm then going to extend this as such. This then creates the Fibonacci resistance levels with the trend based extension. So what do the lines represent? Well, the lines represent the same thing on the trend based Fib extension as they do with the Fibonacci retracement support and resistance. Once again, I've marked the support with the purple arrows and the resistance with the blue arrows. First, you've got to double click on, on the tool which you're using. Then you'll get this page pop up. You can change the colors individually by simply clicking on the color. So let's use the 0.5 of this example. I'll click on the green. And I'm going to change it to, let's change it to pink. Now you can see that the 0.5 level is pink. But like I said, I prefer all of my colors to be the same. Rather than going through and having to change each of them individually, simply click use one color and choose the color you wish to use. I'm going to choose white. You can then change the opacity of the background. So now I'm going to be over looking at some historical Fibonacci use. In this example, I'm going to be over looking from July 2019 all the way to the start of 2020. So in this example, I'm going to be using a Fibonacci retracement tool. Once again, drawing from the top wick to the lowest wick and extending it. The period which we're looking for is from here. To here. 
So we can see from this Fibonacci retracement, which we drew, that historically Bitcoin does obey these levels. For example, on the example we've used, the 0.236 provided significant resistance on Bitcoin's move up from $6,500, provided significant re resistance at the $8,200 region. Once Bitcoin broke this price significantly, it then tried to retest and break below this, although the 0.236 level provided support. Price then proceeded to move to the 0.382 level, where there was significant resistance. Although once price broke significantly above this level, the 0.5 acted as resistance. On Bitcoin's way down, some support was offered by the 0.382, although very little. What are the long term Bitcoin trend based Fibonacci extension levels? To draw this chart, I've used these two waves. The first one being from almost $20,000 to $3,200, and then the second one from $3,200 all the way up to $14,000. As we can see, this is, works multiple times, providing accurate support and resistance levels. Support, once again indicated with the purple arrows, here, 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 and here and resistance with the blue arrows. Bitcoin is currently trading within the 0.236 and the 0.382. The bullish scenario would be that Bitcoin moves from this 8,000 level, 8,900 level, all the way up to the $10,100 region. This would see it meet resistance at the 0.236. From this current position, which we're in, that would be a 13% gain. If this level was then broken, we could see Bitcoin move to the 14,000, the highest point of the Fibonacci trend based extension, which I've drawn. That would be a 57% gain from our current position. What is the long term trend based Fib extension outlook in a bearish scenario? So from current prices, if Bitcoin were not to breach the 0.236, we could see Bitcoin move all the way down to 7,700 US dollars. That would be a 14% loss from our current position. If Bitcoin then broke below the 0.382, making a significant move, it would likely fall to the 0.5 level. This would see Bitcoin reach $5,700 and that would be a 35% loss from our current position. 